Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to be exploring a little bit about a 3D rendering JavaScript library called 3S. Is it possible to attach even listeners like on click and others to 3D objects? And also, we're going to be exploring some of the cameras and much more if we have time. So, let's get started. Before starting, a quick reminder to render anything in 3GS, we need a canvas, a scene, a camera, and a renderer. We're gonna we're not gonna see this in detail in this video, but if you would like to have more information about it, you can go ahead and go to the documentation and the getting started section. They're gonna explain more in depth about each one of those. So if you downloaded 3GS and if you have it in your JS file, you should be able to import it to your HTML file. Or if you're working with a cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment like Node, or and also you have a package manager like NPM, you can go ahead and do it that way too. But now we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way. So if we have all of these, we should be able to see our canvas. So there you go, we have our black canvas with no geometry in it, but we're going to change that. We're going to add some geometry in it, so we're going to say something like new 3. There are a bunch of them, but now we're going to use a sphere. A sphere. And in this case, we're going to pass a radius, a width segments, and a height segments. Also, we need a material to attach to that new geometry. So we're going to create a new material. Again, there are a bunch of them, but now we're going to use one called mesh normal material that has the RBG colors integrated in it already. So also, we'd like to see the, the wireframes. So I'm going to set this to true. Also, I need a mesh. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new mesh on three. I'm gonna pass as parameters the geometry and the material I created. Last but not least, we're gonna add this to the scene. And we forgot to tell our renderer to actually render. And what is going to render? It's going to render the camera and the also uh, the render. No, the, sorry, the scene and the camera. Also, before moving forward, we can we should actually pass this into our animate function because later on we're going to have some animations. So there's a method called request animation frame and we're going to request our function. I Actually, we're going to render this inside that function and we're going to call our animate function. So we should be able to, oh, it looks like our geometry is too big. But actually what's happening is that the camera, the position of the camera always starts in the center. So we need to change that. So we're going to change these to something like 70. Oh, there you go. Now we're able to see it. So I'm just going to go ahead and create two more of these pretty quick. So we have some more geometry to work with later on. So let me change this pretty quick. Um, the name of these variables. And also I can change the position of these meshes like we did with the camera. But now we're going to do it in X. I'm going to do it, do the same with the other one. but to the other side. So there you go, we have three spheres. But now actually we can 
even animate them. That's why we have our animated function. So we're gonna do something pretty simple like change the rotation in x something like class equals 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and sphere, and we're gonna also change the rotation in y to the same thing. We can save this, and as you guess, we can do that with the other two spheres. Now we're gonna go ahead and do that with the other ones. There you go, we have spinning spheres, but yeah, that's actually too fast. We're gonna, we can change it to something like 0 0.02 to see what happens. There you go, that's, that's more calm. So now, you know, now that they're moving, you can tell it's 3D, but before, without them moving, you couldn't even tell it's 3D. So we actually need to now play with a camera and also a control called Orbit Control. I went ahead and downloaded it. I have it in my JS folder so I can import it to my HTML file. So I'm gonna do that. The source of this is gonna be js slash orbitcontrol.js and with that we can go ahead and create new controls. This one new three orbit controls and um, we're gonna pass something important the camera and the render render with the DOM element. Also we can set the mean distance of it, it can be one and the max distance can be something like a thousand. Also we need to Tell them, tell the control to update each time it sees a change. So we save that. We should be able to now move into the world. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's pretty intense. But now we have another problem. We have all that amazing geometry and all of that. We can move around, but actually we can't do match with it you know it would be cool to have events like on click like DOM events and add event those events to, to the, that geometry but guess what it's something that actually we can do so now we need to import another library called 3x DOM events and once you download this we need this file over here I have it with me already so I go ahead I'm going to import it to my HTML file. Something like that. Source. The source is going to be 3x.domevents.js. Nice. So, first of all, before starting, we need to create and click event binder so that because that's what 3x dom events is so here after the camera i'm gonna create some something called dom events it's gonna be equal a new 3x dom events and um, why are we passing as parameters that's right the camera and the render 
operator with the DOM element. So now, with this DOM event, we can add event listeners to any any mesh we can we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So DOM events that add event listener listener so we're going to pass to which match what type of event and in this callback function we're going to specify what we want to do so let's see that as soon as you click it you're going to grab this materia and the wireframe is going to be false so we save this we go to our canvas let's see what happens that's pretty cool and it can be in any place in the canvas so it can be pretty far away from the side and click it and it's going to happen anyway that's pretty powerful that's the power of 3d so I'm just gonna make a uh, if statement. So uh, I don't know sphere sphere click. It's gonna be something like false. So if the sphere is not click, you're gonna do that and change it to true. Otherwise, we're gonna change the material that wireframe to true and change the sphere clip to false. See what happens. So there you go. I can be anywhere in the canvas. It's gonna work. It's gonna work anywhere. That's pretty cool. So that's one of the event, the event listeners, right? I can add another one. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's grab another geometry. We're gonna add an event listener to sphere two. And we're gonna add something like mouse, mouse over. So as soon as you have the mouse over, you go on up. Don't forget the comma. Let's see, we're gonna grab sphere two, and we're gonna change the scale, and we're gonna set it to something like five, 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 y, x, x, y, z. So as soon as I hover, whoa, there you go, what's going on? So also we can add another dump, uh, another event listener. We're gonna go ahead and add a bit listen to sphere two as well. And now something different like mouse out. Mouse out. And every time you take the mouse out, you're gonna set the sphere scale to back to normal. So let's see what happens. Uh, it seems like it's giving me an error so yeah dumb is like that so there you go when mouse is on the scale changes when you take it out the scale goes back to normal and again you can do that like for anywhere in the canvas that's pretty pretty amazing pretty pretty amazing so before wrapping this up, I would like to show you a last example. Here, there, there are too many stuff going on here. We have OBG low a uh, objects, 3D objects here. Um, to do that, we need a, a OBG loader. We need a server because of the security security feature built in JavaScript that prevents loading external resources. We need a server so the node HTTP server works pretty good you know I have a sphere 
in the back as an, an a GP, GPJ uh, image with a nerd that is being textured and that, that is texturing the ear. And you know, you can tell some stuff that is going on. The, the ear has a little rotation. And these, these spheres have on hover events like that. And yeah, but the, the instruments have on click events. Something like, let's check it out. I wanted to show you these guys to get you guys inspired and to to see how unlimited is the power of 3GS and the the magnificent the awesome stuff you can build here. So in this video we're not gonna be covering what's going on here, but you guys can tell already like some of the stuff that are going on, some on click events, some hover events, some rotations in the in the spheres here. For the particles, I'm, I'm using Sprite. It's a method uh, from in in the three years library and another stuff that we're gonna be covering in f other videos. But I hope you guys like it, and I hope to see you next time.